Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I thought it'd be fun to give you guys a desk tour of what my desk looks like and where I've moved it. So if you are unfamiliar and you haven't followed me on Instagram, my desk <laughs> used to be on the opposite side of my room against a window, but I wanted to give myself more of an office feel space because I spend so much time at my desk with doing online school and running a blog and social media and YouTube now. It is so much easier to have my back to the rest of my room and makes me feel like I'm in my own little space. So let's get into it. Okay, so first things first. Here is my computer and that's my website. Little overview for you guys. Um, I would love if you guys went down below to the description and checked out my website. It would mean the world to me. But yeah, so there's that. <laughs> so right here I have this little take note jar, which I think is super cute. It says take note. I got it for like $3 at Target. And on here is where I jot down any blog post ideas that come when I'm working or any Instagram post inspiration. Here is this lamp, which is also from Target. Let's see if I can... There you go. So um, it can bend however you'd like. It's really bright and it's great for working at night. And it also has a wireless charger. Now I'm not sure if Target still sells this, but if I can find it on their website, I will link it down below. Everything that I can find, if, they, if it's still in store, I will link down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, and then I just have my keyboard right here and it came with the computer. This computer used to be my mom's and so did the mouse. I eventually want to get a mouse pad, but I'm not sure. But anyways, on to the next. Okay, and in this side of my desk, I have this Make Today Count planner, which I don't use all the time, but when I have a big project for a work blog, I write it down here and it has all these little fun details and categories. And then you have play section, which is basically just like personal stuff fun things that have happened and it looks like this so it's basically just a regular planner and then you have a sweat category which I feel like is kind of a weird name but it's uh workouts and stuff like that so that's what this looks like and I use these quite a bit and then next I always have a black pen up on the top of my desk because like I said I'll just write things down at any moment while well, I have a drawer that I'll show you in a minute but then I have this planner which is open to July, but it looks, <laughs> there's my sticky note. It looks like this and it says, do everything in love, 1 Corinthians 16, 14. And it's 2020 through 2021 planner. And I love all the little details on it. And I love the month overview look, it's my favorite. And I love the week view. I love to write down day by day, but I like to also look at my week in a total. So that is my planners. And then I have this candle, which guys, it smells so good. It is a vanilla candle, which I always have this one at my desk. And if it goes like completely away, I don't know the word I'm looking for. I always get a new one. So I get mine at Walmart and it smells amazing. And I love how the stickers are so easy to take off. And over here, I have this little container, which you can, um, you know, Put whatever you want into it i got it at hobby lobby i think it is super cute and it matches with my desk style very well and here i have like headphones um an eraser it's just random little knickknack stuff and then i have a little note from my friend that i keep there this is also from hobby lobby it says you are loved and i really like the gray detail because i have a ton of gray items in my room and then this is just some fake flowers from Hobby Lobby. And I put them in this old um, sparkling cider, like personal sized sparkling cider jar. And I love the way it looks. And this little tray is also from Target. It says stuff. And I thought it was really cute. It was only $3. So I use it to hold these items because I feel like it makes it blend well together. And that is what is on the top of the desk. Next off is this. So next off, I have this drawer, which is right here and a ton of stuff. So I have this little drawer organizer right here, which let me place it there for you. And I have all these little sticky notes from the Noted collection by Post-it. And I love to use these for everything, of course, especially when I'm trying to make my notes for school cute. 
And then I have these little tags here for stuff. And then this one's also from the Noted Collection. And then I have a stack of bigger sticky notes in these colors underneath here as well. This is just a little cuticle cream that's in here. I also have this little blue stapler that I got as a gift. And of course, a little tiny dinosaur. <laughs> I also have a ton of pens and a pencil in here because I go through black pens like crazy. So I like to keep a few just in my drawer. And then I also have these Zebra Midliner highlighter pens, which are also great for making your school notes look super nice and also great for co color coding your planner and to keep that looking more organized. And then I have these blue light glasses from Target, which were also $3. I don't use as much now that I have uh, reading glasses, but sometimes I will use these for the fun of it. Then I also have this little to-do list notepad that I got from Hobby Lobby and I really like the pen that goes with it and it's great for just those shorter days on the weekend when I have a few things that need to get done. And then I also have these Christmas themed sticky notes which are in here but I only use them during Christmas time. But yeah, that's pretty much what's in here and that's it. Alright guys, and that is my little desk tour, but I wanted to go ahead and give you a few tips about desk organization and keeping your desk clean. So for me, I have one drawer. Okay, so whatever's in here is the stuff that I use the most. I do have a shelf on the other side of my room where I keep other things like highlighters, books, and all of that. But if you have multiple drawers, the best thing you can do is keep those organized. Rather, it's using a little acrylic container like this. You can get them at Target, you can get some at Dollar Store, Walmart, wherever you find them. So you can keep things in a neater, organized way. Or if you have like notebooks in your drawers, planners, different things, just put them each in their own drawer in their own designated spot. Another great tip is to clean your desk every single day. So much stuff is just put on your desk and you leave it there and you walk away and then the next day you go to work and you have a ton of stuff on your desk and you need to make sure that you have space to actually work and be productive. With an unorganized space, you're most likely going to avoid the task at hand because you're focused on the clutter sitting right by your face. So I clean my desk every single night if I worked at it. If I didn't, then obviously I just leave it how it is. But if I'm working at it and I have papers on it or if I have pens out everywhere or sticky notes out everywhere, I make sure that I clean it up so in the next morning when I go to work at it, it's clean. So that's my tip for you. Keep it clean and organized. Another great thing is decorate it. Decorate your desk to your liking. How do you want it to look? You're most likely spending a lot of time at your desk, especially, especially, especially when school starts. You spend a lot of time doing homework or if you're doing online school or homeschooled like me, you spend a ton of time and I mean all day. Or if you're a small business owner, an entrepreneur, a YouTuber, a blogger, whatever, you spend a lot of time at your desk. So it's a great idea to make it a space that you want to sit at and a space that you want to work at. So for me, that's adding candles, adding fake flowers so I don't have to change them out, adding little decor things like this one. Things that make you feel happy to sit there and do all your work. So those are my two tips for you guys. I hope you guys have a really great day. Stay to the end of this video for a little video montage of my desk. And I love you. I will see you next time.